Well, hello everybody, it's Richard here. It's um, Sunday the 27th of June uh, 2010 and uh, we're having a most glorious day today. The weather here is in the high 30s um, and unfortunately <clears throat> I've got a very nasty head cold which uh, is affecting my speech so my throat's been playing up the last week and I've been feeling very much under the weather. So if I sound a bit croaky, I apologise in advance, but uh, but I thought it was worth um, catching up today and uh, talking about the, if you, some of you may remember, the Pioneer SX 960 that my colleague at work had asked me to have a look at. And there was a certain amount of debate as about what the problem was. Do you remember, we, I thought it was a pentometer, which was um, the problem, the volume control switch for the, I think it was the left-hand channel of the um, radio amplifier. Well, I've um, obviously been a bit busy because the day's the 27th. That was back on the 5th of June. Uh, however, I haven't been, I haven't been, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, absent in the sort of thoughts about it and I've given it some thought and now decided uh, to um, do a systematic check of all the components because several of you on several YouTubers and thanks to you all for your comments have made suggestions. Uh, one of the suggestions was that it could be a a uh, bad solder joint and I thought well actually that could be there could be some truth in that. I've had that before. I had a some of you may remember uh, posting uh, several postings about a year ago for a Goodman's um, music centre and the same problem was there for the radio tuner and I actually managed to fix that. Unfortunately I then touched another part of the amplifier in my repair of the cassette deck and the amplifier went fut and it, the, I couldn't get back and find out where the problem was and uh, in the end the thing ended up in the dustbin which is unfortunately the only failure so far I've had to date. However, uh, I think you learn through that and I was a bit more cautious this time uh, and but I have solved the problem and the problem was exactly that it was a poor solder joint and I've managed to repair that um, and uh, it, the uh, radio amplifier now works perfectly and I thought perhaps I'd just show you how that works today. We're in the middle of uh, football fever at the moment and Britain are playing Germany, as uh, some of you probably already know, and so I thought we'd use the commentary, live commentary, just to test this piece of equipment out. So let's just take the camera off its pedestal and it's always a bit of an interesting time here. There we go. Let's turn the camera around. There we go. So, now here we are. This is the uh, Pioneer uh, Stereo Radio Amplifier SX960. And, uh, and I've cleaned up the front, as you can see there. I've given it a really good clean. I've actually cleaned all of the... I took this front panel off, because it's very nice. It all comes beautifully to part, and then you can... Uh, reassemble it and I've cleaned up all the front panel so there's no it looked like a spider probably crawled behind that front panel there with that wonderful wavelength uh, scale there and so it's all looking very clean now um, and then because I can't really show you where I've repaired it because I can't get the light inside but basically if I just take my pointer which is my red pointer over here the here we are the um, fault that was down in here where the volume control or pentometer is here and I've managed to cross over where the solder joints were becoming um, loose underneath and uh, or have become loose and uh, reconnected them so the, the volume is now equalised so let's just switch on you never know Britain may have scored another goal there we go now, if I turn on now, you'll probably hear the difference. Ball by Milner. And now go. Moore and Johnson trying to take care of Podolski. Johnson, uh, Lampard's a penny for the free kick, but Germany come on a counter-attack once there we more. Go. So, so on they lead. The dangerous Ursel we've got the, Kadira, the two, young players two channels the working side. perfectly now. Calling for it over on the far side is... Uh, there, yeah, that's left, the right. Try shot here, and he needs to bother. That's and gone away. Go right. Into the fans behind David James's goal. We've played 18 and a half minutes in the second half. Germany two, England one. That was a half-time score. Well, I think what you said earlier in the second half, mate. Next goal's vital. 
And you can tell it's working properly because I, both of the EUs are working level. And Joe Cole, who told me a couple of days ago, he doesn't mind if he only gets on for a minute. He'll give everything. And he's coming on here for James I've got it on mono because it's, the reception is better on that. Live from South Africa, it's England against Germany at the World Cup. Down the right-hand side. So Joe Cole on for England. There we go. So then he's got a fantastic volume. And now if you put the the um, loudness on, you hear the difference. There you go. Joe Cole will be bright and bubbly. And here he comes now for the first time. Mustn't try too hard though, Joe Cole. Cole taking German defenders with him. And now Lampard to the far side of the field. Looking for Gerard. The bounce is awkward. That's, That's the problem off. with this ball. Normally that would have found the feet of Gerard who's acknowledging so, Lampard. So that's what end really. And and, uh, so what was ended up being, uh, I think, a very simple uh, uh, problem of a solder joint as opposed to a complete change of a component so and I'm sure my colleague Jeff will be very pleased to get this back uh, once I've managed to put it all back together on uh, on uh, Monday morning and uh, but anyway just thought I'd update you and uh, thanks for watching <coughs>